Now, White House Coronavirus Task Member Anthony Fauci is warning that COVID-19 could lead to heart conditions. During his testimony to the U.S. Senate on Wednesday, he said some recovered patients have developed heart inflammation. Let's speak now to Dr. David Yankelo from the South African Heart Association about the correlation between COVID-19 and cardiovascular diseases. He joins us now via Skype this lunchtime. David, good afternoon and thank you very much uh, uh, for your time. I mean, COVID-19 impact on cardiovascular disease, how bad has it been? Thanks very much, Dan. Appreciate the opportunity and uh, thank you to all your viewers as well. Um, well, they, let's just put a few things in perspective that heart disease is the biggest killer in the, in the world. And every single, um, every single day in South Africa, almost 215 people succumb to heart disease and 40 to 50,000 people worldwide. So that's just in the background. With respect to COVID, that there is a correlation and we know that patients with underlying cardiovascular disease, other non-communicable diseases such as lung, kidney, and uh, other chronic diseases, especially those with obesity, hypertension, and diabetes, are at a much greater risk for an adverse outcome if they contract the virus. But they're not at increased risk of actually being infected with, with, with corona. So that's the background. Most people that do um, contract uh, COVID-19 won't have cardiovascular complications. The patients that are admitted are obviously the sicker patients that are breathless and um, they require oxygen and specific protocols with respect to, to treating them. They're much higher risk, but there can be cardiovascular complications. So we are, at my hospital, we're working in physician teams where there are two ICU physicians or pulmonologists, and each team has either one or two cardiologists attached to that, uh, to that group. So we're trying to be vigilant for the complications, but most people will not develop those complications. Who, who, who we know that people, which group of people are at most risk currently? Uh, because, I mean, you have things like what uh, I've seen the term being used, the COVID uh, bulge, because uh, during the hard lockdowns, people were restricted with movement. And, of course, September is Heart Awareness Month. I know that your organization and others are trying to raise awareness about the, the, the tale of COVID-19, so to speak, and how it's affected our cardiovascular health. So absolutely. Those groups that are alluded to, these, these patients... Um, diabetic hypertension, and underlying background cardiac disease may have an adverse outcome. We know that the virus can have a direct effect on the heart muscle, a, 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 and those patients could develop what we call a myocardial injury, and they also have greater risk. So we're extremely vigilant when we think that those patients have suffered such an event to watch them closely. Heart rhythm abnormalities can occur, and also, um, heart attacks can be associated with, um, with corona. The other thing is that patients with COVID-19 that are extremely ill are at greater risk for developing um, blood clots, either in major or, or, or minor vessels. So we're trying to be as vigilant as we can for those complications. We're not really seeing that many, to be honest with you. Okay. There, there's some different what? Yeah, David, just from a time perspective, it is Heart Awareness Month. We are now in level one of the lockdown. In earlier levels of lockdown, access to health care and medication was somehow restricted. What would your advice be for anybody who might have somebody in the family or themselves with some cardiovascular disease? What would you advise them to be doing now going, going forward to manage their health appropriately? You make a very good point, okay? And we as an association... We're extremely concerned about a second public health emergency because patients with underlying diseases were too nervous to consult their doctors. And we tried to spread the word out and the message months ago um, that patients, particularly with chest pain, shortness of breath, should consult a doctor or come to the nearest hospital as soon as possible because ignoring symptoms could, have, could lead to dire consequences. And we know that during the last eight months worldwide, out of cardiac arrests have soared and patients were literally dying at home. We tried to spread the word early 
that patients should seek, seek care as quick as possible because the treatment of these syndromes is time sensitive, the treatment of heart attacks and strokes. So that's a very, very good point. And our association is presently advising the, the health department and the minister. We put a, uh, a South African Heart Association perspective together for the minister. Uh, and we engage on a ministerial advisory committee to spread the word that these patients should be seeking care because there's this, this fear that by coming to a doctor, that it's a significant risk of contracting the virus. David Yakelo is a doctor from the South African Heart Association. Thank you very much for your time this afternoon.